dancing because iniquity is holding you iniquity is holding you iniquity is holding you iniquity one of the reasons why people cannot free themselves up be zealous for God you can't go on outreach happily <laughs> excited it's iniquity the love of many will wax cold the love of many will wax cold but God God detests people who are not hot yes. he, he doesn't like it he detests it he detests it how you can be zealous number one look if you want God to be attracted to you be a zealous person be a zealous person be a zealous person be a zealous person be somebody who has energy for God energy one day I was telling some instrumentalists that look we used to go for shows at National Theatre just to see other instrumentalists play and those days we knew that when we close the only way you can get out of there is dropping. First of all, dropping in your cash. Secondly, the dropping crowd will be. When we close, we want to pass and see whether we'll be able to sneak and talk to some session men that one of the keyboards that we know or something. So we don't leave early. By the time we come out, all the taxis have left. We walk from National Theatre. I've walked from National Theatre to uh, yeah, event is, uh, 37 before. And when I'm going for the show, I know that I will end up walking to 37. It was easy. I'm talking about 12.30. Yeah, 11.30, 12.30 a.m. Easy, easy walking. We'll be together talking. Charlie, the basis was playing. But, hey, Charlie, the guy be walking. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Yeah, we're walking to 37. Zeal. Zeal. Ah, see, instrumentalists come six months, they don't improve. No zeal. No zeal. If you're an instrumentalist with zeal, they don't have to drag you from behind your, your piano. I have a piano in my house. I can't say people in my house twice a day. You see me behind the piano. Twice a day. I'm always there. Today I've played. I've practiced. I, I just love it. When, when, when I feel stressed, I want to sit behind the piano keys and play. Oh, yes. My zeal has not died. I used to rehearse four hours a day. My zeal has not died. If, you, if I have time, I'll still do four hours a day. I love it. They, they, I have energy for it. I have feelings for it. I like it. But there you are. We have to come and show you, play this. Do this. Go and learn this. Today I was telling your boss. We have to show you, go and learn this. Go and do this. Go and do this. Me, my time, there was nobody. The only people to insult you. Nobody to show you anything. Yeah. No zeal. Today you have YouTube. Yeah. I used to go to the BAM library. One day I went to look for jazz books to learn jazz piano. Come on, day we didn't have internet. To learn jazz piano. When I went, the, the book I found, the last time it had been borrowed was 1956. I'm not lying to you. Dusty, who wrote a jazz piano? The, the title of the book, The History of Jazz Piano. And when I opened, I saw score sheet music written in it. I took it to my room, went to photocopy the pages, and then I brought it home. When I come home, I sit behind the piano with the score sheet pages and learn jazz piano. When I started learning bass guitar, when I get home from work, I put my bag down in my room. I don't even drink water. The next thing, I don't even take my shoes off. The next thing is my bass guitar, one hour minimum, before I go and look for where the food is. Every day after work. You don't have zeal. You don't have zeal. When I hear people say, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Today I saw somebody say, you see, sir. No, I'm tired. You're tired because you ain't got no zeal, baby. When you don't have zeal, that's where you are tired. You should see people who have zeal for party. They can party three days straight. What are you talking about? Ah! I, I had a work colleague. He said, there was a time in my life I can leave home on Tuesday. The next time I enter the house is Thursday night. I said, hey, why is it? Maybe Tuesday I'll go and sit down with boys at the pub. Wednesday there's a party somewhere. Then eventually Thursday I'll get home. Said, so Tuesday from the pub, I just find a place where sometimes I'll sleep in my car, arrange myself a little, or change clothes. I have a change of clothes, then I'm going to the office. I was working for a big telco. Then the Wednesday, when I finish, it's all. 
Then I'll change clothes, go to the office. Then Thursday before I get home. I don't know where he was bathing. <laughs> Zeal! Zeal. Zeal. I spoke to a man once. He said, look, there was a time in my life I was doing two master's degrees. He so said, I was doing one here in Legon and I was doing one in tech. Yeah. He so said, the Legon was doing the week and the tech was weekends and he was working. He's a petroleum engineer. He said, so I work and do evening classes in Legon. Then Friday night, I moved to Kumase to go and do weekends. Then he told me that part of my motivation for the Kumase was that my beloved was there. <laughs> I said, uh -huh, that explains your zeal. <laughs> but, uh, how will a man have zeal for an university degree like that? And he said one day his father in law called me and said, Bro, if you don't arrange yourself for you die before your time. But zeal, when, when you have zeal, we have to stop you before you stop. I said, Instrumenta, you should go and ask the people before you. You see, courage leading the song on the stage, they used to sit down and play instruments from 12 when we close church till 7 p.m. till I go and sack them and say, Your mother will be looking for you. Go home. Abba. That's why he can play keyboard, bass, drums, write music, sing everything. Because he, they will be there. I used to pastor them. When we finish in the youth church, once I'm gone for meetings, they are there. You hear them do go, 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 Then at 7 p.m., they'll stop. They say, These people, if I don't sign them to go home, their mothers will come looking for them. Say, Hey, go home. Your mother will be looking for you. Zeal. Zeal. But we have to chase you to come and do something. The, the short base is also there. Sitting at my face. Today, nobody works in the house of God with zeal. Everybody, the sound man. When will you come and lock yourself in the room at night in this hall from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m.? You are reading the manual and you are doing things on the mix up. When? No zeal. And today, be any in your feedback. We have to send to come and tell you lower the drums, increase the tea, the auto is too loud, the tenor is too loud. No zeal. No zeal. How you can be zealous? One, be zealous by not comparing yourself with other Christians. Don't compare yourself with other Christians. You see, you see even in the church, eh, your neighbor's coolness can tone you down. Some of the people I'm looking at, if you are sitting next to them, it will be hard. We, we thank God that now there's space in the city. At least we will make you freedom, Kakra. Some people are stuffy. They, they stifle you. They, 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 they cramp your style. It's like when you do a movement and they, they, they are looking at you like... Somebody defy your neighbor and give the Lord a hallelujah. Now look at your neighbor. Don't say anything. Just check whether your neighbor is offended. Check. Don't say anything. Just check. Don't even say something. Just check whether they are offended. Don't compare yourself to another Christian. Don't compare yourself to another Christian. Don't I, 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 I. When I'm dancing, I don't compare myself to her. I don't compare myself to her. Huh. Maybe their leg is paining them. Mm. My two legs are working fine. I, I better dance. Oh, I better dance. I better dance. I better dance. I, I, I don't know how you can be in a church and not be moved by them. Is that I don't understand. Don't compare yourself with the next person. Oh, yeah. Allow the next auto singer to skip rehearsals. You don't skip rehearsals. Allow the other singer to come for rehearsals two hours late. You come on time. Don't compare yourself to another person. Because one day you will stand before God alone. 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 No, no, one thing I've never done in my life is to compare myself to other people. Oh, no. Maybe it's a gift God gave me. Mentijai. 
Ah, no. Mm -mm. No. I, I, I went to Presec. I never darkened the gate of every girls. Never. I mean, ne never. Never. I didn't know how the inside of a big house was. I was familiar with the mountains. I only knew the gate. Make up a day. When I will be a big house. I had no regard for it. It didn't move me one bit. And I was not a serious Christian until I got to SS3. It's not about Christianity. It, it just didn't move me. And I became born again, it was worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you couldn't convince me. It was when I finished school that church outreach took me to a big girl. So I remember the first time I got there, when I entered the, the, the dining hall, I stood and said, Ah, so this is the big girls. Ah, this is the big girls. But when I was in prison, that, that you see that I don't buy shirt and khaki to go to a big girls. That's what? The whole school can go. What are we for what? myself to anybody. Never. Oh no, never. Never. I never compared myself to anybody when I'm studying. I used to go and study alone until final year when I got some three parties who I realized were like me. So we can study together. You are sleeping, sleep. I'm going to learn. When I'm also sleeping, allow me to sleep. You also go and learn. Each man for himself. Never compare myself. No, no. no. I, I, I had a friend who one day came to me and said, Charlie, let's start <clears throat> investigating schools in America to go to school in America when we finish school. I was naive at the time. I didn't even understand what the cost of it was. So, I used to follow him. We used to go to USIS, United States Information Service, where Republic Bank headquarters is. That's where they, they were. There was a woman, a white woman, but she was called Mrs. Kiteko. She, she explained to us about GRA, about SAT. We're always going. Then one day I asked myself that, why am I going to US? Who is taking me to America? Who is taking me to America? Why won't I be serious and face my wasi? Who, who, who has promised me America? It would be later that I would find out that the guy's father was in America. And the plan was that after SS, you are coming to America. Jack Musumi Boha. And then I'm following this guy to do USIS. I said, bro, the next time, hey, 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 hey. No, go by yourself. <laughs> don't compare yourself to anybody. I said, don't compare yourself to anybody. Allow the person next to you to be quiet. But you give the Lord a shout. Allow the person sitting next to you to sit on their chair. But you chop up, stand up and shout. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Eh. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Me, never. Never. I, I, I live my life. Eh. Based on how, that's why it's good that I'm following God. Because if I was following just myself, the things I would do, I can only imagine. Eh. I don't compare myself to anybody. When I want to invest in, I had three close parties. One was in tech, two were in Lego. All of them had beloveds. First year. I remember one day one of them came to my room. We were on the balcony. Then he told me that Charlie, Asama, Charlie, the girl, I go marry her more. I was in first year. Meanwhile, I had vowed that may both four zero. You know what four zero is? Four zero. I told myself in the beginning, and I did my four zero coolly. Yeah. Oh yeah, I finished university in May two thousand and one. I met my wife in June two thousand and one. Oh, four nil, four nil. I met nice ladies every year, but oh boy, no parking. The parking space is not available. I don't compare myself to anybody. And I, they, my friends, my, my, my one of my best friends in the world, he met his wife in third year. The other one met his wife also in third year, happily married. The other one met his wife in first year, happily married. Me, me, really answer. It will be a difference. But I'm also happily married. So, I remember they would look at me and say, ah, 
So you is God trying to say that you not experience heartbreak? I said, hey, what is your problem? Say, is God trying to say that your first beloved no, you marry her? I said, hey, now nah, are they? Am I you? Are you me? Hey, why? <laughs> One of them was like me. The first person he met was the person he, he's married. But the other two, there were changes. So they, 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 they look at me and say, you, if, you, if you marry without broken heart, you, you, you make fun of us our whole lives. I said, I beg you, everybody's different. Don't keep your eyes on the person next to you. Be careful. A lot of you, you are running your lives by the person next to you. You are one hour late for chess. So, Koku, cry and my. Since when is Koku o'clock? Since you, 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 you got sixty-seven percent on the test, oh, even Kwame got sixty. Since when was Kwame your your your, your pass mark? Since when? The Bible says that if we compare ourselves with ourselves, we are not wise. We are flesh. He's flesh, dust. If I compare myself to flesh, it's not wise. And some of you, even the person you're comparing yourself to, or a low down popcorn on top, you not even compare yourself to somebody proper. Huh? A low down popcorn. Because I used to have friends who used to scare me by the sheer amount of work they put in to study. You, you, you can't be on your bed. You can tell that by now, actually, the guy or Bobby had three hours. As you are there, no. And truly, when you go and check in his room, you won't be there. When you go to the joint where you study, you'll be there and say, what time do you come? Oh, I came like 8. About 11. I'm pam power. About 3 hours. As a matter. Never compared myself with anybody. No. Never compared myself. You never compare yourself with anybody. Ask yourself, what does God